Hello there, welcome to Disney Parks Addict. Today, we'll be taking a look at all the restaurants and dining locations in Disney's Hollywood Studios at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida in 2023. Stick around until the end of the video where I will share our top picks for snacks, drinks, counter service and table service restaurants. As you enter the park and wander down Hollywood Boulevard, you will come to the first dining location in the park and usually my first stop too, the Trolley Car Cafe. Similar to the other parks at Walt Disney World, you'll be able to find a Starbucks within the park and this is Hollywood Studios location. It is beautifully designed to look like a classic trolley car station and you'll be able to find all your favorite Starbucks coffees, teas and iced beverages. They also offer exclusive merchandise and a selection of Disney baked goods. Opposite the Trolley Car Cafe is the classic table service restaurant, the Hollywood Brown Derby. This is of course the replica of the original restaurant from Hollywood that opened in 1929. You can dine in the golden age of Hollywood and try some delicious contemporary American cuisine. You can choose from steaks, fish, chicken, and of course their famous Cobb salad, which was first created at the original location. It has a great selection of desserts and also a full bar offering cocktails, wines, and beer. Is. Out at the front of the restaurant is the Hollywood Brown Derby Lounge, where you can order some drinks or a few different appetizers. If you don't have a reservation for the main restaurant or simply don't have enough time, then the lounge is a great place to enjoy the atmosphere of the Hollywood Brown Derby and also being able to taste a sample of what they have to offer. As with all my guides, we will head around the park clockwise, which takes us to the next land in the park, Echo Lake. They have some great dining options, starting with the Dockside Diner, which is located on a boat in Echo Lake. They serve hot dogs, sandwiches, brownies, and milkshakes. You can also grab a specialty cocktail, a beer, or some Joffrey's coffee and dine in their outdoor seating area overlooking the lake and the central area of Hollywood Studios. On a particularly hot day, I would suggest checking out PV's Polar Pipeline, a booth serving up frozen lemonade and Coca-Cola, as well as other slushies and beverages. For an extra kick, you can also order a shot of rum, vodka, or Jack Daniels to make it a frozen cocktail, which is needed in that hot Florida sun. This location is only open seasonally, so check it out while you can. Next is the Hollywood and Vine, a table service restaurant with character dining. During breakfast, you can dine alongside popular Disney Junior stars as you enjoy a buffet of pastries, breakfast meats, cereals, as well as create your own stations for omelettes, breakfast burritos, and even a build your own Greek yogurt bar. It's a great breakfast and is perfect for families with younger children. During lunch and dinner, you will be joined by the host Minnie and friends as you enjoy a seasonal celebration during summer, Halloween, Christmas, and others throughout the year. The buffet includes steak, chicken, salad, salmon, a variety of vegetables, and other side dishes. Desserts and drinks are also included, but you can also enjoy a selection of cocktails, beers, and wines for an extra charge. Next door is another table service restaurant, 50s Primetime Cafe. You'll be transported back to the classic 50s era with a retro decor filled with amazing Kish memorabilia. All the servers are very sassy and hilarious, which creates an awesome dining atmosphere. They serve classic American cuisine like fried chicken, pot roast, and meatloaf. I usually go for the mum's favorite as you can sample all three classic dishes. Save some room for their amazing desserts and they have a huge choice of classic cocktails including non-alcoholic versions as well as other beverages. If you enjoy the drinks, you can check out the Tune In Lounge which keeps the same fun atmosphere and theming in this fully stocked lounge bar. Right outside the 50s Primetime Cafe, you may have noticed a huge dinosaur on the edge of the lake. This is of course Dinosaur Gertie's Ice Cream of Extinction that offers soft serve ice creams in waffle cones or cups along with the classic premium bar and ice cream cookie sandwiches. This is another seasonal location. Near the entrance of Indiana Jones Epic Stunt Spectacular is the booth Epic Eats. They serve a choice of delicious funnel cakes, soft serve ice cream, floats, and a few specialty cocktails and beers. This is the perfect place to grab a snack or a cool drink before checking out the amazing Indiana Jones show. 
The final dining location in Echo Lake is the quick service restaurant Backlot Express. This is a huge restaurant with plenty of indoor seating and serves burgers, sandwiches, salads, as well as a few desserts and plenty of beverages, including beers and cocktails. This is a great place to grab a quick lunch or dinner at an affordable price. Now let's take a look at the two dining locations in Commissary Lane, starting with the ABC Commissary. This quick service restaurant has an art deco style and is inspired by the original ABC Studios Commissary. They are open for lunch and dinner and serve tacos, salads and amazing sandwiches. With a huge dining hall, you shouldn't have a problem finding a table and with its location being in the center of the park, it's a great place to make as a meeting point for larger groups. Next is the amazingly themed sci-fi dine-in theater restaurant. At this table service location, it's always set to nighttime, and you'll be dining in a classic 50s car watching retro sci-fi clips as you dine on classic American cuisine. You can choose from a variety of house-made burgers, salads, pasta, and sandwiches, including the plant-based Impossible Burger. This is a great place to bring younger guests as it's a very unique dining experience to be able to eat inside one of their classic cars. We now move on to the next area, Grand Avenue, and one of the newer dining locations in Hollywood Studios, Baseline Tap House. They offer a few light snacks like the Bavarian pretzel and a charcuterie board, but their specialty is definitely their choice of California beers. You can choose from lagers, IPAs, pilsners, and ales, or you can get a beer flight and select four beers to try. They also have some wines and a full bar, so it's a great place to grab a few drinks before a dining reservation or a late night show. Show. Next is Pizza Rizzo, named after everyone's favorite rat-based Muppet. This quick service restaurant serves personal sized pizzas with a variety of toppings, meatball subs, and salads. If you're a fan of the Muppets and pizza, then this is the restaurant for you. The other restaurant in Grand Avenue is Mama Melrose Restaurant Italiano. This table service restaurant has more traditional Italian cuisine like spaghetti and meatballs, steaks, and a variety of other pasta dishes. If you're looking for a warm and cozy dining spot within the park then this is a great choice if you're enjoying the guide so far please click the like button as it will help us to share it to new viewers we now move on to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, the newest land in the park, and some great out of this world dining options. You will first come to Katsaka's Kettle, a small booth selling unique flavors of popcorn and the land exclusive orb beverages. Right next door is Ronto Roasters, a quick service location that has great theming with a pod racer engine being used as a barbecue. They offer delicious wraps for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with a Ronto wrap being the guest favorite. Roasted pork and grilled sausage with tangy slaw all wrapped in a warm pita. It sure is a great option for a quick lunch or a light dinner. They also offer all the usual beverages as well as a few exclusive cocktails and beers. Another quick service location is the Docking Bay 7 Food and Cargo. This is a bigger restaurant with a much larger indoor seating area. Again, it is nicely themed with plenty of hidden Star Wars Easter eggs dotted around the whole restaurant. They offer some amazing entrees for lunch and dinner. You can choose from the pork ribs, beef stir fry, tuna poke bowl, as well as other plant-based menu items. They also offer specialty desserts, drinks, and cocktails. If you want the full Star Wars experience, then you'll have to make a reservation at Ogre's Cantina. This amazingly decorated bar will even have the casual fans impressed. They serve specialty cocktails inspired by planets from all over the galaxy and some extra special snacks that are truly out of this world. The atmosphere is completed with DJ Rex on the decks playing some classic cantina tunes. If you have ever wanted to try the infamous Blue Milk, then check out the final dining location in the land the milk stand. It is located past the entrance of Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run and they actually offer blue or green milk. You can even order the milks as a cocktail by adding a shot of rum or tequila. We now head to Toy Story Land and Woody's Lunchbox. This is a quick service location that offers breakfast sandwiches and bowls in the morning and barbecue sandwiches and potato barrel bowls in the afternoon and evening. You can also grab a beer, cider or cocktail along with the usual sodas. You can enjoy your food at their outdoor seating area while taking in the atmosphere of Toy Story Land. 
Next up is the newest restaurant in the park, Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. This is an indoor table service location offering delicious barbecue meats and sides in a family style dining experience. The restaurant has great theming with plenty of your favorite Toy Story characters dotted around the dining hall. Similar to other table service restaurants, I would recommend making a reservation to avoid disappointment. There are currently two booths in Pixar Place close to the animation courtyard. First up is Market, offering nachos and fresh fruit cups as well as the incredibly popular Num Num Cookie and a selection of potato chips. You can also choose from a variety of drinks including sodas, cocktails or beers. For those that need a boost, the other location in Pixar Place is Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company, which offers a wide variety of hot and cold coffees, teas, pastries and even a few cocktails. The final land in the park is Sunset Boulevard and the highlight here is the Sunset Ranch Market. This is inspired by the Los Angeles Farmers Market and is comprised of a series of small food stands with plenty of covered outdoor seating. I'll go through them quickly, highlighting what they offer. Anaheim Produce has plenty of healthier options including fruit cups, carrot and celery sticks as well as classic Disney snacks like churros and Mickey pretzels and even some cocktails and beers. Catalina Eddie's serves delicious pizzas, Caesar salads and breadsticks. Fairfax Fair offers amazing waffle bowls filled with mashed potatoes and a choice of meats. Rosie's All American Cafe has a nice selection of burgers, hot dogs, nuggets and salads as well as slushies, cocktails and beers. And finally, Hollywood Scoops serves sundaes, cones and cups all using hand scooped ice cream. All the stands offer some choices of desserts and regular beverages too. The Sunset Ranch Market is the perfect place for large groups that can't decide on a particular restaurant as there is so much to choose from and everyone should be able to find something that they enjoy. Near the exit of Tower of Terror, you will find another Joffrey's kiosk serving hot and cold coffees and teas along with some specialty cocktails. The final dining location is located near the Rock and Roller Coaster. KRNR Rock Station has a variety of snacks including cookies, nachos and chips as well as some frozen cocktails and beer. Before we reveal our top picks for the park, if you haven't already booked your next Disney vacation, then I would highly recommend you check out Undercover Tourist, an established website that offers great discounts on park tickets and awesome deals on Disney and non-Disney hotels. Go check out my affiliate link in the description box below to see if you can make a saving on your next Disney holiday. So our top snacks for the park include the Num Num Cookie from Market in Pixar Place and the amazing unique popcorn from Cat. Saka's Kettle in Galaxy's Edge. For drinks, we have chosen the frozen Coca-Cola from PV's Polar Pipeline and the infamous Blue Milk from the Milk Stand. Our favorite counter service restaurant is ABC Commissary, but Ronto Roasters and Docking Bay 7 in Galaxy's Edge offer some great choices. For table service, we have chosen the new Roundup Rodeo Barbecue in Toy Story Land. But if you want more fine dining, then head to the Hollywood Brown Derby. So there you have it, my complete guide for all the dining locations within Disney's Hollywood Studios. Don't forget to subscribe for more useful videos about Walt Disney World and other theme parks from around the world. If you want to know more about the attractions at Hollywood Studios, then check out this video here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Disney Parks Addict.